Hello, Orange Cat here. Gonna play Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 case by case series whereby I either do relating cases or just one case per video. I'm still busy with in game cases. So let's continue. We're at Miner's End and we're at the end of the railroad that leads to Silver. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah can get to the end of the train road, train road. and then as you go here you will see this bird check statue and that will be the next in-game case it will trigger automatically it looks as though someone or something has escaped a statue of a buckled cage inside a city full of criminals let's take a closer look sherry for the birds in-game case will also be a mark of the map, the Silver Mines Monument. So you have to have the clue selected. Let's examine the bird. For the ones who gave their lives in the silver mines for the safety and prosperity of miners end, 1830. The lattice work was bent a long time ago. It used to contain a silver statue of a miner's canary. They were often used by miners to detect fire damp. A gloomy picture, but quite poetic. A symbol of safety and prosperity has vanished from miner's end and now only the cage is left to remind the residents of their past glory. The canary was stolen a long time ago. There's no hope in finding it now, but perhaps someone might know at least something about it. We should ask the people around here. Okay, so you can ask people to so change the clothing to workers apron. This is working area. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You know nothing of life. Deal with it by yourself. Okay. Uh, Either to or change to the rags. Do you know anything about this? I'll tell you what I know, mate. Okay, so you have to change to the to the vagabond rags clothing because yeah, the people you need to talk to are unfortunately very very poor because of the mines. Okay, the story of the sil silver canary. Locals told us the story of the silver canary of Miner's End. There were times when Miner's End was prosperous, but the era came to an end when the silver mines were exhausted. Soon afterward, invested lost interest in mining Florida, which caused severe unemployment and poverty on the island. From a symbol of safety and prosperity, the canary turned into a miner of loss. People say that the flower public house is the seat of local legend. It is near the alley at the northern part of the straight road. So there, we have the next clue we can go to. So, the flowers of good, which we already passed by, which is here, which is near Miner's Market, uh, the side road near Eel Street, the right side of the map. So, you can already up that marker with you passed it before it will be automatically extra, added. Extra! A treasured man called Donor's Annual Tourist. The cheapest news. Thank you. Yeah, so not all cases will give you a news article sometimes. But yeah, how you solve the case will be part of this will be written in the newspaper. Okay, so let's go to the my grandma, God bless her, has no. Yes, if you're the first time you go here, it will automatically will get a marker on the on the map, so you don't have to worry about that. And now we can listen to the tune. 
people in front of it. And the man who has doomed us all. Okay, so what happened to the canary? Thrown into sea. Lost his family, poverty and miners and stole the canary. Miners morning. At the Flowers of Good public house we heard about a man who lost his family after an accident near the mine. He couldn't accept what happened to his loved ones, so he drowned in grief, stole the canary, cast it into sea and left the island. Some say that he committed suicide shortly after. Where? Oh. Safety and prosperity have both been strangers to miners and ever since. That's... The thief died in grief. A poetic story for such an unpoetic place. Safety is gone, and tears take the rest. So yeah, this was a sad story. So that was the for the birch in-game case. It's quite quickly solved. We'll also add some more information about the history of Cordona. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I will do another case which is also quite small. We have to go, go to Old City. Old City Market Point. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, the observation one and then we go to the pillars of knives because she received that quest case automatically during the love that Cordona the in-game Mycroft case and therefore we have to go to the to the pillar of knives that's here Then to hear more about the history of that tradition, we have to go to the the market uh, all the way here, city market. Another dead paid. But it's at the old city market and we have to listen to them. In blood. Okay. Old custom. Family owner. Blood vengeance. Sorry. The pillar of nice. Vengeance came to Cordona from Albania during the Ottoman rule. Some locals find it unfailing, some but not all. And the pillar of life stands high as a grim reminder of that. Stands near the barracks to the soldiers discuss it so we can go back to where we were. So near the this the pillar and then wait to the to yep. yep. so to go back near the pillar of knives. Building with the uh, 
red flag on it. There, at the, the gate, we see the pillar of knives. If you walk around the building, we see two sailors standing, and you have to listen to their story. <coughs> That pillar is a da- Well, I guess, yeah! Just give the order. How do you think I feel? Ottomans, dancers. Hey, Near the barracks. The tree. The pillar of knives. Some crude traditions still exist in our modern world. The Glagmajaro. Blood vengeance is one of the most notable traditions in Cardona. People advance their honor and blood in the most barbaric ways imaginable. Each knife in the pillar celebrates a successful revenge. It is frightening, it looks like a shrine of hatred and pain. The worst part is, the people can't undo the horrific consequences of this tradition and are forced to live with it. And that was the pillar of knife. Case it tells more about the history of Cardona. Pillars of life. So yeah, that's a sad thing. Okay, so we can see. Uh, can do another short, or rather, short. Uh, in game case, we have to go to the old city, which we already are. We have to go to this area because there you will find a fort or part of a fortress. So we're just gonna run to what's there, and this will this case will automatically trigger the first time you will pass by it. Die it. I've avoided it, so, we, so I can show you more directly. So you see this building? That is a fortress. You see the collapsed wall. And John will be Salty there. breeze, old ruins, dusty roads. Do you recall clambering over these walls as a child? Perhaps. Did we find something at the top? This is the in-game case. A mad rope. Salty breeze, old ruins, dusty roads. Do you recall clambering over? So we're standing here at the crossing of Beatrice Street and Bazaar Road. Yeah, so the closest point is the fast travel point of the mosque. These walls as a child. Ah, it was an old skull. What a lucky find for a pair of young adventurers. It was easier to climb these walls back then. Not merely because we're older, but because the ruins are too. Of course. You said we needed to bury him. Do you remember where? Oh, one would think burying a human skull would stick old man mind, was standing somehow... here as we passed. Oh yes, I remember his face as we flew by with a skull in our hands. He looked as shocked as our grisly companion. Nothing ever bothers an old Ottoman backgammon player. Down, walk down the stairs. This wasn't the right place for a funeral. We were looking for somewhere more appropriate. Funny, nowadays you love putting men behind bars. You're a fellow of infinite jest, aren't you? Everything seems smaller now. The water level was higher back then. I remember swimming through this mire while trying not to breathe in the horrible odor. 
I remember swimming through this mire while trying not to breathe in the horrible odor. This is where we buried it. It seems that with time, our friend has emerged once more. Sherry, I think we're getting the hang of this. So we went from the fortress of the Holy Spirit ruins towards Madras Street. It is also the maximum thing you can zoom in on the map. Then towards Parabosa Street and then side to the water. We went to the side, went from Madras Street down here, this alley, where you can walk down and ending in the water. There you have the, the skull. The skull is ancient. Its likeliest owner was one of the knights hospitaller who died during the siege of the fortress. I remember now, you said this skull was my father's. A child's imagination is a powerful tool. You needed this, a burial process of your own, a ritual so you could begin to grieve. Here hung those lips that I have kissed, I know not how oft. <laughs> I felt so alone back then, John, uncertain, abandoned by my father. I know. The skull wasn't his, though it may as well have been. In the earth, all of us look alike. But putting this man to rest, it did help. I'm glad, Sherry. I find myself rather tempted to keep it. If not for sentimental value, then it's archaeological merit. And that's the end of Matt's rope case. It was basically a memory. Sherlock remembered. When he passed the fortress and the skull you uh, Sherlock took with him will be shown on the mantle of the fireplace inside the, the Holmes Manor. So this was a mad rope. I'm on sketch, Sharon. Thank you for watching. Wish you all well and see you in the next video.